Hello, hello, and welcome to the Goth Family, episode 5. Ah, he's off to work. Um, Goth Family, episode 5. Uh, for the... Pleasant View Dynasty uh, series. Uh, oh, it's Saturday. That's that. That would be why. I'm like, how come the kids at home? But it's Saturday. Uh, he can uh, make himself breakfast. That's uh, perfectly acceptable. Um, yeah, see, he's a private school. He's got. Um, Okay. Uh, apply for scholarships. I know he could have done that on the phone, like right down here. Actually, let's get him to do it on the phone right down here. Um, I thought he could do it on the phone. Oh well. Um, Clean up, dispose, clean, you're going to have to feed the kitty. Okay, you do not qualify for any additional scholarships at this time, here are an example. He must already have um, some scholarships, which would be the Scholar's Grant. Okay, now fill the bowl and then you can rock. I don't know why you can't practice. I mean, surely practice would have been just as good. Uh, Darren is in the middle of class, moving from group stretches to some step exercises when he felt, feels a slight twinge in his ankle. He's not sure whether it's a momentary thing or an actual injury. His class is excited and ready to go. Uh, continue the class. Oh. Okay, Darren decides to soldier on. The step exercises begin well, but Darren's ankle soon begins to hurt much more. Having aggravated the injury, Darren is unable to even leave the room and collapses on the spot. The class is thrown into a panic, and Darren's boss tells him to take a permanent break from the job. Ouch! Because that's like what he wanted to do. Although, I don't really think he's going to get to be a world-class ballet dancer. Like, maybe he should just stay at home and, and be a good dad. Um, was that cooking? Yeah, why don't you study cooking? I mean, that works, you know. Yay! Okay. 
Uh, who is calling? Wait, what? But Darren went to work. He doesn't have a job now. Wait, what? You know, I I don't know what happened, but you know he um uh, this happened. I did tell you to get the phone. Um, sure, we can get Alexander off the cam off the piano. He lost his job though. See, he got fired. Deck me the Dean's list. Yeah, he does need to uh, look after himself there. Okay, so what does he need for his work? The job that he got fired from today, but still has. Um, I, I it looks like he's gonna get promoted tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Nice, a science teacher. Okay, um, she needs cooking, logic, and, and cleaning to get promoted. We need to do the whole make selectable thing. So we can see that Isabella needs to be bathed. Okay, I don't know why he got back in when he'd already just had a shower. I mean, he already had a bath. He got out and got back in the bath. Is that what she wanted? Science career? No, she wants to be Captain's hero. I kind of feel like the the kids are going to get what they want because they're going to be focusing more on that. But she's in the science career. She just got promoted. I thought I'd already changed her career. Because I would have, you know, changed it. To law enforcement. That's what she, that's what she wanted, right? Yeah, law enforcement. You know, that way they can actually go for what they want to go for. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, so let's have a look at her needs real quick because she's going to get picked up in two hours. Okay, she needs a shower. And Darren can be a wonderful dad and go put Isabella in the crib. And then serve dinner <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said shower pretty sure I said shower Let's see, can we get this done in time? Right, she does need a body point. 
Uh, no, not right now. Uh, eat. Come down and eat food real quick. Yeah, she has got enough friends. Um, I thought she was eating. And she's talking too much to eat. Okay, um, put leftovers away for that one, and that, and then, she doesn't need an age up or anything, does she? No, she's not at age up time. Must be deft tomorrow. Okay, so Cassandra's at her new job. And it is going well. Kind of. She's tired, but it's night time. Buy a changing table. I don't want to. Sure, become BFFs with your dad. This not having a shower is kind of a little irritating. Just a little bit irritating. Uh, oh, right, put in crib. And shower. Oh, look, there's a ghost. It's Gretel Goth. Oh, he's tired. Yeah, get him to bed. Is it supposed to be Bella? I mean, it's not, but it kind of looks like it could be like Bella's sister. Which is why I'm like, could that be, like, was that meant to be like Bella? Like, maybe when she's younger or something? Okay, I don't really want him at the computer. He doesn't really need um, that kind of... Um, he, yeah, he doesn't need fun at the moment. He could probably perform on the piano and get that skill up. It's his best skill, so may as well try and get a scholarship for him. Not sure if I'm sending him. Retired mad scientist. Okay, so get scholarship, goes to uni. And is 64 days old. He is pretty, um, he, he's getting there. Oh wait, um... Just because Darren wants the better one. And 
it's night time. Why don't we get him on to stargaze? Okay, Cassandra gets home at 2 a.m. Couple more hours. Uh, no. Um, have spaghetti. Is he coming up though? I want to see if we can get him touched by aliens. Ah, oh, he was here for what's this? Uh, I could like get him to go like this. I don't know if it will work, but we could try. See, it didn't work. I, I tried though. <laughs> I'm just looking at the, the ghost across the road, just pacing and strolling and pacing. Uh, it's kind of boring. Okay, can you bathe the granddaughter? <gasps> Cassandra's home, did she get promoted? Please get promoted. She got promoted. She starts at nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and she she starts in a couple of hours. So um, get up and, and use the toilet. Yeah, toilet and bed. That's all we're going with. Toilet and bed. Toilet and bed. Um, yeah. And it's kind of weird how those two toilets are connected like that, though. Okay, he's doing good. He is doing good. She is cuddling up to her husband. Good. He is getting tired. And I had hoped that we would have been able to do the whole get abducted thing. I'm just trying one more time. Ah. No, your bed. Not your father's. Um, and then Mortimer's just hanging out with the baby. I just can't believe how much uh, she's working in like 24 hours. Okay. He has work today too. Can you put the baby in her crib first? Oh, wait. You're Gretel and you are Victor. And that's it. There's like seven or uh, six, six graves and only two ghosts out. Oh yeah. I kind of feel like Mortimer's only got like a day or two to go. I kind of feel like the end is near.
Like it wasn't just a slip of the tongue that I said that there was seven graves. Because I kind of feel like that maybe there will be. Like really soon. Okay, they both start at nine. They're going to get picked up at eight. Oh no, he starts at eight. Okay, good enough. At seven and Starren's at the carpool. So can you put the baby down? Excellent. What does Isabella want? Nothing? Okay. Can you just put her in, in, in a bed then? Look at that, you know, like... Of course, it's an empty lot. I don't know where she was taking her. Oh, she just put the baby on the floor. That's just how it goes. You know, Sims 2, Sims 3, newborns get left on the floor. And then Sims 4, they're objects. Wait, you're at work though, right? Yeah, she is at work. Um. Oh, you're talking to someone on the phone? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just get another easel. It's fine. I mean, I was gonna make this into a bedroom or something, but maybe we can get um uh, let's see yeah when the sim city scholars grant so just one he had an accident cornelia died cornelia that's his grandmother isn't it um I saw a ghost Cassandra got engaged. Yeah, well, he was in private school before. So, um, Cassandra grew up well, learned to walk from Mortimer, learned to talk from Bella, grew up well. Oh, he also got potty, potty trained by Mortimer. Awesome. Okay, well, there's not much to do. I don't want to do too much with them because he's getting pretty close. But he is tired, so let's send him to bed. Okay, let's see. You're almost at seven. Yeah, you need to be at eight, don't you? I'm trying to get that last little bit in. Um, I'm, I'm just going to say hide from boss. Cassandra thinks her boss might not take too kindly to gaming during the work days, so she disguises the game as some kind of work. Her boss commends her for working through lunch, and Cassandra receives a small bonus. Okay, Mortimer got his pension check. Cassandra's home. Oh no, Darren's home. He got promoted. He got promoted. Okay, Darren, are you good? Yeah. Warm up. <gasps> Aww. Grim is a full-size cat. Okay, Cassandra is also home from work. She did not get a promotion. But that's fine. 
She does need to look after herself though. Alexander Storm or right? I, I don't think that's um, enough. I don't think it's seven. I think it's eight. But let's try it. Okay, Alexander. Apart from being a bit hungry and eating the toilet, he's all right to go up and make another painting. He can just get leftovers. Yeah, not yet. He can get leftovers. Ooh, tired and, um, okay, Darren. I did tell you to do something. We can get Cassandra to bathe her and look after her. Okay, that is Alexander Swordage. Darren sorted. Yep. Bella. <sighs> yes. Little Bella. Is sorted. I didn't tell you to do that. I told you to bathe her. I really told you to bathe her. Baby needs buffing. See, I told ya. Yeah, it still needs unclogging. Okay, what else does she need? She is actually hungry at this point. He's probably doing the best. Wait, where are you? He did not come down for food. Okay, feed bottle. Because Cassandra will put her down soon. Uh, it's Isabella's birthday tomorrow. Oh wait, Mortimer died? Wait, what? Where is he? There he is. So Mortimer's, Mortimer was playing with Grim when Grim turned up, saying, Your time is up. I thought he was close. Okay. Um, Sim City Insurance is here for your loss. Let us tax the simoleons. It's your pain. Mortimer's insurance policy benefit four people, including Cassandra, Alexander, Alexander got 2,600, Dina, and Isabella. I'm like. Okay, we haven't actually made the cemetery yet. We will, but not yet. It does need to be moved. Um, Okay, we can get rid of that. She can't be best friends, uh, BFFs, with her, her father now. Um, can you... Um, <coughs> I think Cassandra can now feed the baby. And she's going to. Excellent. I also think that's probably a good place to leave it. So, um, if you made it this far and enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Feel free to leave a comment as I do read each and every single one.
I hope you're having a wonderful time soon wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!